Hello. <laughs> uh, hi, Andrea and Neil here again. <laughs> it's March 28th, Saturday, March 28th, and we are in uh, kind of the middle of a worldwide transformation. Thank goodness for yoga. Thank goodness for yoga. Um, and the fact that we keep saying the date, it, it, it's making me feel like we're Star Trek and it's like the captain's log. Captain's log, March 28th. A restorative practice of yoga with Andrea. Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, I, so I keep telling Neil it's a restorative class today, and it is, sort of. We're going to build a little bit of heat so that when we drop into the, the posture that we want to hold for a little bit longer, we've created um, some blood flow and the body's ready. The body's ready to, to, to do it. So the body's ready to go. Oh, restorative practice, sort of. Um, also, we're going to try to keep this. We're going to try to keep this on the shorter side. We just keep getting really excited while we're making the videos because apparently we love yoga and we just we just keep going. <laughs> so hopefully this is going to be 20 minutes, half an hour. We'll see. Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> okay. Oh, go get. I, I, I don't like the way they call them Mexican Yeah, they, I mean, they but... call them Mexican blankets, but it, um, yoga studios have adopted it that being a really great blanket to use for yoga because of the weight and they're pretty inexpensive but and they look cool and they look cool um but go ahead and get a blanket of any kind um a lot of people have like a throw blanket for their couch or um even Don't throw it though. you can throw it if you want <laughs> or <laughs> or um like uh throw pillows for on top of the couch like just something like that uh Go ahead and get something like that. We will we'll probably use it. I signed up for a restorative class. It sounds like there's going to be a lot of throwing. <laughs> okay, acro, acro kids, we are going to do an acro video. Oh boy. Okay. All right. So let's do it. Um, let's start in our seats. Let's let's just start in a brief meditation. I, for so many reasons, this is just a really great place and way to start. So find whatever your comfortable seat means to you. It's a really great way to just like sneak in just a few minutes of meditation. You can even go ahead and slide that blanket under you. You could, yes, you could sit oh, you can throw it. So you can throw you it can under throw you. it underneath. <laughs> I'm gonna sit up. <sighs> Gently close your eyes. Like we've done so many times, so many times. Connect with your breath. Notice your breath. Notice the beat of your heart. Hook up with your product too that beam of energy that runs up and down the front of your spine all the way to the center of the earth mother earth's magnetic crystalline center all the way back up through your body out the crown of your head connecting you with source the energy of the creator let the ebb and flow and Inhale, exhale, the expansion, the contraction of your breath. Let that connect you. The inhale, breathing out to the edges, out into Father Sky. And the exhale, this connection with Mother Earth. Down to Mother Earth up to Father Sky as energy pulses up and down your planet too. Offering a prayer 
off a wish, an intention, whatever, whatever your heart wants to call it. Setting a collective intention that those those in charge right now consider all beings. No matter how you feel about who's in charge right now, offer some compassion. May they consider all beings. Dig way down deep into your yogi soul and offer compassion. Allow your eyes to gently flutter open. Hug your knees into your chest. Come into a tiny little seed. Take it up high into your toes if you want to. Let your chin drop down towards your chest. Breathing into your upper back. Breathing into the back of your heart. Imagine light shining out the back of your heart up into the sky. Exhale, let it feel like a sigh. Allowing the soles of your feet come to the earth if you lifted them. Take your right hand under your right knee, your left hand under your left. Bring your feet out in front of you a little bit more. Or Neil has his hands underneath his knees. Very nice, Neil. Seated cat cow. Big breath in, heart lifts. Exhale to reverse that. Scoop your tailbone, let your chin drop down towards your chest. Breathe in, heart lifts. Take a few like this. A few cat cow flows. Maybe start really small to start. As we flow through more and more, if you were sitting on something, now might be a time to take it out from underneath. Maybe these cat cow flows get a little bigger, a little more expansive. As you come to your seated cat paws, hang from your knees. Breathe in, heart lift, shoulders slide down your back into their pockets at the top of your ribcage. Shoulder blades gently kissing back behind. Come back to your neutral spine. Let your hands come by your hips, fingertips facing towards the front of your mat. Just windshield wiper your knees out from side to side. Release your glutes. You can get a little bum massage. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Like your six bones will massage your glutes from the inside. See, now you're feeling it, right? <laughs> Next time your knees fall out over to the right. Oh, I forgot I'm opposite. Yeah. Lift, uh, lift up your left hip. Breathe out, come back to center. Let your knees fall out over to the other side. Lift your right hip. Actually, I'm supposed to be there. Yeah, just, just go with it. Yeah, it's okay. Sorry, it. we're good. Okay. Follow the voice cues. <laughs> Breathe out, come back to center. Engage your lower abs to lift your shoulders back up above your hips. Let the soles of your feet come together and your knees fall out to the side. Rock from side to side a little bit. Take 
taking hold of the sides of your feet. Breathe in, tall spine, spine ascends to the sun. Exhale, lean as far forward as you can without rounding over. See, O'Neill just rounded over. It's okay, it was a slow cue. Yeah, yeah so go ahead, yeah, come back. I know, it's only like an inch or two, the most. So inhale, I'm holding onto my ankles here. Exhale, lean forward. It might just be like an inch or two. Nice tall spine. Then go ahead and round over. Let your chin drop down towards your chest. Your elbows may come towards the insides of your knees. We'll take one more like that, unroll. Shoulders come back up above the hips. Breathe out, fold forward without rounding over. Again, don't force it. It's only gonna be maybe a half an inch. And round. And from here, either stay right here or if it feels good, let your hands come out in front of you. Fingertips coming to the earth. Maybe your whole hand, your whole hands are on the earth. Or if this is too much, just hands back on the feet, no problem. And if your hands are out in front of you, it might feel good to walk your hands out over to the right, or the mirror. Again, hands could stay right at the feet, no problem. And bring hands back to center. Walk them out over to the other side. Bring hands back to center. Walk your hands back in towards your body. I just organically rolled through my head. If you want to do that, go right ahead. Maybe chin comes down towards your chest. And then roll left ear towards left shoulder, right ear towards right shoulder. Come back to center. Either come into, okay, two options here, or so many, because you don't have to do any of this. Remember that, right? Either come into your easy pose, like so, or if you want, sit in your hero's pose. Um, if you're in your hero's pose, you can add a little bit here, tuck your toes and sit back on your heels. Um, the fascia at the bottom of your feet might be a little bit cranky, so if we don't force that. Feels gonna stay in an easy pose, very nice choice. Um, if you come to your hero's pose, you could also sit on the blanket, like in between your feet. That's kind of why. If you fold it up, okay. Just throw it back there. Throw it back there. All right, I'm gonna be here. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. Place your fingers and bend into your elbows. Place your hands like at the base of your neck. Yeah, just kind of lean right. Lean left. Make it from side to side. Belly button pulling in and up. Pelvic floor pulling in and up. Breathe in, come back to center, let your heart lift. Take your belly button to the back of your spine. Exhale, bring your elbows to shine towards the front of your mat, front of the room. Let your chin drop down towards your chest, letting your fingers rest on the back of your head without any extra pressure. So just your arms resting here, be enough, just enough weight to gently stretch all the way down to the middle of your back, right down to your elbows. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, lift it back up. Do this slow, do this slow. Unroll one vertebra at a time. Bring your hands to your heart. Your peace finger is right to where your jaw, your upper jaw meets your lower jaw. Mandibula. Mandibula, or mandible, as I usually say. Tomato, tomato. 
But we hold, we tend to hold a lot of tension in the jaw. Sometimes we don't notice it until we, we go and massage there. And it's like, oh my gosh. Open your jaw nice and wide. Exhale out of the mouth. Place your hands on your lap, either face up or face down. Let's all, I hope somebody else is home with you. And they're like, what are you doing? But uh, releasing a sound, um, really awesome for releasing tension. And ohm is the most ancient of sounds. It's the sound the universe made when it was created. This ohm, and it, that ohm sound continues. Um, it's in everything. It's in the wheels in the car uh, on a long road trip. It's in our cells. Okay. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, clear it out. Breathe in. You wake me up. Just Neil's own is healing. All right, one more. This time, place your left hand on your heart, your right hand over your left, so you can feel the vibration of the ohm in your body. Um, so you want to call it out, but have this like, almost like it's a, like a, you're containing the ohm within your own being too. Breathe in. Clear it out. Breathe in. Oh. jump overhead. The opposite elbows back behind. Heart lifts. Shoulders slide back and down. Let your chest expand with your breath. Breathe light into your heart. And if you feel like you want a little bit more here, as you exhale, interlace your fingers back behind. Send your knuckles down towards the earth. Feel like you want a little bit more squeeze your palms together so the heels of your hands connect and release your pointer finger or uh jupiter jupiter mudra move in breathe out Release the fingers, release the elbows. Arms reach up overhead. Big fist, roll out the wrists. Switch directions. Inhale, spread the fingers wide. Exhale, let your hands come out in front of you. We're coming into our down dog, so you can untuck your feet, lean to one side all ten toes. If you've just been in your hero's pose, maybe slap the tops of your feet on the earth, wake it up, and let your hips go back and high. Downward facing dog. Alternate with heels coming down on the earth. Find organic movement. If you want to add a little bit more heat, uh, you can come to plank pose, top of a push-up. Super optional. Find some stillness in your downward <laughs> Oh, Neil came to play. My goodness. Find some stillness in your downward facing dog. Maybe knees are bent quite a bit, especially for this, this first one. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bend into your knees, take a look between your hands. Take as many steps as you'd like. 
Any steps as you'd like. Right foot steps between the hands. <laughs> Left foot stays back. <laughs> okay. Take a breath here. Inhale, let the hips dip a little bit more. Exhale, lift them up. We did that backwards, that feels weird, huh? Come back, yeah, that feels, isn't that funny how the breath is so connected to the movement? Okay, so other way, take a nice deep breath in. Hips dip. Wait, I did it again. How do you do it? Exhale to push back. Exhale to push back. Oh yeah, okay. Inhale, dip. <laughs> Exhale, yeah, there we go, exhale. Left knee can come down if it wants to. All right. Super organic movement. Okay. And shifting forward if you haven't, you're not there already, right knee above the right ankle. Lift the left knee, spin the left heel down. And just for a moment here, side angle. With your right seat, I told you, it's not quite a restorative practice. Why are we doing this? We're doing this to heat up the quad here heat up the right thigh. We're getting this amazing stretch up and down the left side of the body. Good. Bring your left arm by the left ear and shine your left palm down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Feel the heat build. And then let your hands frame the front foot. Lift the left heel. Left knee can come down. Right arm extends up to the sky. The left twist. Right hand comes down to the outside of the right foot. Make your way back to your downward facing dog, however you want to get there. So you might vinyasa, you might just step back. We're not going to call out the vinyasa, but it's there for you if you want it. Bring knees to the mat, knees close together for this child's pose. Untuck your toes. Bring your arms back behind you, palms facing upward. Your embryo. <laughs> okay. Neil does have his knees out to the edges of the mat. It doesn't look this, but he looks like he's enjoying it. So, <laughs> arms back behind you. Make it your own. Make it your own. So now we're releasing all of that that work that we did in um, the side angle. Right, we built up to that side angle, and then we felt the heat build, and then came right down. And now it's this, it's like a sigh. The body's taking a sigh. Breathe in. Breathe out. Connect back with your chronic too. Shanti, 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 that's within your own being, your connection to divine light source. When you're ready, reach your arms back out in front of you. Tuck all ten toes, set hips back and high, downward facing dog. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth. Bend into the knees. Take a look between the hands. Take as many steps with just the left foot. Uh -huh. <laughs> just the, the left foot. There's the cue. Left foot comes forward. Take as many steps as you'd like. You can take hold of the back of the left heel and bring that left foot forward. Here we go, letting the body get used to the shape. You can take the right knee down if you want. Breathe in, hips dip, heart lifts. Exhale, lengthen the front leg. Maybe two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
and then back into the left knee. Lift the right knee, lift the back knee if you um, if you tucked it down, touched it down. Touchdown! Sorry. Okay, right heel spins down. It's our side angle. Left forearm, left thigh, right arm reaches up by the right ear. Razor side edge of the right foot rooted to the earth. Feel that heat build pushing down through your feet. This is that moment of energizing work. And the work doesn't have to have like a bad commentation to it or a bad meeting. This is this is like exciting work. Reach through the right fingers a little bit more. And your thighs spiraling around the bone. External rotation. Breathe into the spaces between your ribs. You want to add a little bit more. We didn't do this on the other side. If you want to add a little bit more, left arm can come by the left ear. Got it, Neil? Breathe in. Breathe out. Here comes the side. Here comes the surrender. Hands frame the front foot. Right heel lifts. Right hand stays to the earth. Left arm reaches up. Right knee can come down, yeah? Sending this left hip back, like you're plugging the femur back into the hip socket. See, so my hip was here and I like, pushed it back. Breathe in. <laughs> what yeah, I made that sound too. Breathe out. <laughs> Left hand comes down. Journey back to your downward facing dog, however you'd like to get there. There could be a little flow if you want. And right away, knees to the mat. I'm gonna take my knees close together. Arms come back behind you. Let that all go. Let our child's pose. Looks like the side angle was the expansive angle. The heat, the sun, that solar energy, the masculine, the power, and then we surrender. The moon, the exhale, the sigh, the grace. The moon sparkling on the ocean, the, the moonbeam sparkling on the ocean. If you think about it, the, the sun, when the sun sparkles on the ocean, it has a totally different energy than when the moon sparkles on the ocean. It like feels differently energetically in our bodies. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let your, yeah, let your arms come back out in front of you. And heel up to your tabletop pose. My knees are going to come a little bit further apart, right under the shoulder, right under the hips. Spin your fingertips, maybe one hand at a time. Um, towards the back of the room, towards or towards your knees, towards your knees. So you're getting like this really nice. Yeah, Neil's doing his hand one at a time, so that might feel better for you. If it feels okay, gentle sway from side to side, super, super gentle. Now we get that milling one. <laughs> Take your fingers back towards the front of the room. And get the other side. So flip the hands down. I'm going to do this one at a time. So I've got the back of my, that's my left hand, but it looks like my right hand to you guys, I think. <laughs> fingers spread wide. Go ahead. I have a tough time right and left and person. <laughs> Pick up that hand, shake it out. These cameras are doing a number on us. Go to the other side. Other side. You gotta stay light. You gotta stay light. And it doesn't mean that we're not aware or that we're pretending nothing's going on. You can be rooted, grounded, centered, and light at the same time. Emotions flow through us like rivers of light, and we get to feel all of them. Human emotions, none of them are like good or bad. You don't have to look at it like that. It's 
all human experience. So go ahead, lift, lift that hand up, shake it out. Okay. Child's pose. This time, keep your arms out in front of you. Let your palms turn up. So the backs of your hands rest on the earth. They don't, they don't have to completely rest. So it's really good. Like Neil, he's just got like the, the side of his right hand resting. But palms are turned up. Fingers light as air. So you're letting the wrist relax. Breathe in. Breathe out. <laughs> Make your way back to your downward facing dog. Okay. And this could actually be done from table too. You can do this from table. Let's do it from table. Bring your knees down. Okay. Take your hands out in front of you a little bit more. You need, you're going to need a little more space. Shift your hips back. Engage your lower abs. Slide your right knee up towards your right wrist. But you're not in pigeon yet. You're sitting on... You can't, um, I'll go this way. So see, you're sitting. You can't see my foot in there. But you're sitting on your right heel. You're not... Um, the right heel's not tucked underneath that you're sitting on. Okay. So... Tuck your left toes, lift your left knee, wiggle your left heel back so that it makes your left leg nice and long. Take your right hand, or it looks like left hand to you guys, centered. Bend into your left knee, bend into the back left knee. Reach back behind for that foot with same arm, same hand. Breathe in. So you can either take breathe out. Sometimes I say breathe in and don't do the breathe out part. <laughs> All right, so you can take the inside of the foot. If you turn your fingers down so that your finger, um, like your palm is on the top of that back foot, you can lift your elbow up towards the sky. Yeah, I get, um, add a little shoulder stretch in here. And if you want to deepen this a little bit, release the, the back foot, come down onto your forearm, and then reach back behind for that foot again. That might be too much. Remember, if you try something and it's too much, you can always back out, no problem. Yoga's not mad. Yoga never gets bad at you, ever. Breathe in. And then breathe out, release that back foot. Tuck the back toes. All right, this is our, um, this is our pigeon. We're going to get to our pigeon. So go ahead. Come back to either table or downward facing dog. Downward facing dog might feel good here. You want to lengthen out. You could even send that right leg back behind if you felt like it. You could do that in table too. Look at that. Okay. So coming into pigeon. We're actually going to do today what my our, our good friend Eileen calls, um, what does she call it? She calls it swan. Swan. So Textbook pigeon, your top leg, the shin is parallel to the top of the mat. And then you do all kinds of things to, to make sure that your hips are still in line and um, all this good stuff. And I, maybe we'll save that for another 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 video. So like we'll do swan today. And so Neil's in that, right? So the difference is instead of having the shin parallel with the top of the mat, you can tuck this heel in towards your pelvis a little bit more. As long as, yeah, towards the opposite hip. Your, that's a good way to say it. So this heel comes in towards the opposite hip. As long as this right knee is on the outside of the right hip, it looks like left knee to you guys. What you don't want is for this knee to come in. See how this is in? You're not really getting that nice stretch here. So tuck this in. You could lit, uh, tuck your left toes, make your left leg nice and long. So we're here. Now for me, my right hip is lifting up off the mat. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this blanket and slide it underneath. You can throw a blanket. Yes. You can throw it underneath. <laughs> slide it underneath. You could also, all right, so you can stay right here. As you come down into your forearms, you could have a blanket like underneath here. And uh, can I use your blanket for a second? Can I throw it to you? Yes. This guy. 
Okay. <laughs> so here I am, <laughs> resting on the blanket like this. Yoga will never get mad at you, but the yoga instructor might. No, the yoga, not us. We're not. <laughs> just go in your. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna be here for a little while. We just did all this work to open up the, you know, the hip, get some heat moving in the body. We're gonna be here in this. You want this back? Okay. So we get to, we get to be here in this pigeon or this um, swan wow. variation for. Well, we'll do a couple minutes. Music we're listening to um, again this uh, dynasty electric piece on earth it's an hour of um it's just some really beautiful chimes it's my uh my sister jenny and her her partner seth and they've been recording artists musicians i mean their whole lives but uh they've gone from avant-garde jazz and, and things like that in brooklyn to now they're, they're doing sound healing in la So this is um, birds and the stream that's outside uh, their, their cabin in the mountains. into any place, breathe, breathe light and space into any place that might feel a little tight or tense. And this could be something physical. This could also be something emotional. You can breathe into your heart, light and space. And exhale. Surrender. your way up, ease your way up. Move a little left, move a little right, as Neil likes to say. <laughs> ease your way out of pigeon in a way that makes sense for you. So you could kind of shift onto the right hip, bring the left knee forward, come into your table, extend that right leg back behind. You could come to your downward facing dog. We'll all meet back in our tabletop pose. Catch the other side. And bring your hands from your table pose. Be like middle of your mat. Take your hands out in front of you a little bit more because you're going to need that space. Send your hips back. This is like a little spring. Belly button pulling in and up. Brings left knee towards the left thumb. And then adjust. Adjust how, adjust how that makes sense. Tuck the right toes. You can't see. Can you, will you do it, Neil? Tuck the right toes. Yeah, tuck the right toes. Lift the right knee. Wiggle that leg nice and long. And let the top of the right foot come back to the earth. Coming to your fingertips in the center, you could also have your hand on a blanket, your throw blanket here. Bend into the right knee. Reach back behind for the right foot with the right hand. And what you want is to not be on the kneecap. You want to be like just above the like right where your your um. Are you okay? Yeah, it's just a good strike. Oh, <laughs> it's that good hurt. <laughs> He's okay, folks. <laughs> um, you want to be above the kneecap, not 
not on it. So like that, where your thigh, using very lay terms, where your where your um, your quad meets um, your knee. <laughs> Breathe in. See, Neil's taking a little break. Very nice. Breathe out. Oh, um, we know that we're sitting on the left heel here, right? You're not in pigeon. Is that what's happening with you? You're in pigeon. Oh, yeah, you're not. Yeah, back out of it. That's why it's a crazy stretch. Okay, so sorry. Sitting on the left heel. We're not in the full. We're not in our in our squat yet. Still <laughs> All right, go ahead, release that. <laughs> uh, hands to the earth. Okay, so slide the left knee back. Maybe there's a down dog here. Or maybe you just extend that left leg. Either way, we're coming into our pigeon on the other side. So you can do that from table, but where you're doing it from the table. Yeah. Okay, I'll go from down dog. And slide left knee towards the left wrist. Set up. So now that left heel is tucked underneath. And remember, you don't you want it. You want to have this left knee beyond the left hip out this way. Again, I think it. That's my left knee. Yeah. Beyond the. Okay. <laughs> All right. Maybe tuck the right toes again. Wiggle that leg nice and long. You got a lot coming up for you, huh? Thanks for the practice. All right. And again, you might put the blanket. You can adjust the height underneath that hip. Go ahead and settle in. And you've got some time here. I'm teasing Neil. Um, there's, there's this like kind of like running joke that um, the hips hold a lot of like tension and sometimes we come into hip stretches and things like this um, like aggravation comes up <laughs> it's not aggravation but it's a really beautiful thing um, it comes up you can you can meet it and see it and be like oh okay that's there and and you get to breathe into it and let it flow through um, and out of your body and if you're worried about what happens to any like aggravation like that when you release it, you, you can just imagine it becoming like seeds of light, like it transforms. Um, so it's not like you don't have to feel like you're you're letting out um, like bad energy into the into the world. That's not even how it works. It's not um, negative and positive. It's all it all flows and moves. And our, our quote negative emotions are part of our human experience and sometimes emotions like anger um, anxiety and all like uh, they can be some of our, our greatest teachers in a way um, when we know that we really truly are divine light and we connect back with that and we know that we are we are peace at our at our at our core then we get to observe any of these emotions and things and know that we are not, we're not that anxiety, we're not that fear. Um, it's an experience that we're having, but it's not who we are. It's not what we are. Um, we're, we're love. We're divine incarnate. This is that compassionate witness. And breathe out. Ease 
squeeze your way up out of your, your swan. Shift a little left, shift a little right. Come back to either your table pose or your down dog. Um, you can shift off to the left. You could tuck the right toes, lift that left knee. You come back to your table, you can extend the left leg back behind if you're in your down dog. Left leg extends back behind. This could be a vinyasa in there, right? But it's um, restorative, sort of, right? So, so make it yours. Let's come back to your child's pose. One more little bit before we come down to our Shavasana. I know Neil's excited. Okay, so child's pose. Make your way onto your belly. Easing your way forward. Lower down. Make a pillow for your forehead with your hands. Wiggle your hips from side to side. Make your legs nice and long. So point your right toes, lift your right leg right up off the earth and lengthen that right leg out of the, the hip socket. Same thing, other side, point the left toes, lengthen that left leg. Okay, you might stay right here. Maybe this is all you do here. Um, it's kind of nice to just be in a different position than we, than we normally are uh, in space and on, on the earth. Um, you can imagine your heart connecting with Mother Earth here as you, you lie, you lie down. Uh, option to take hands underneath the shoulders, push into the tops of the feet, lift the heart, baby cobra. Neil's gonna stay. <laughs> heart returns to earth, forehead comes down. You can stay with what we just did, little baby cobra. If you want, this time take your arms back behind you, interlace your fingers, lift the hearts and your knuckles down towards the earth. If you have to interlace your fingers, maybe lift your, your toes. If you're in your baby cobra, please keep the tops of your feet on the earth. Good. Breathe out, let that go, let the Right cheek rest on the earth, arms by your sides. If you're in your baby cobra, lower down. Make a pillow for your forehead with your hands again. And we have one more lift here. Um, you can stay with whatever you just did. If you want, bend into your knees, flex your feet, reach back behind for your ankles with your hands. Flexing your feet so that you make like a hook for your hands. No, no, this might be, maybe you're not doing this at all. Maybe you're just lying on the earth with your, um, your forehead resting on the back of your hands. So here, only if you're craving it, lift your heart a little bit more, lift your quads a little bit more, bring your inner thighs a little closer together. Only if you're craving it, not if it seems like it would be too much work. And out. And let this release. Either take your arms back behind you or make a pillow for your forehead with your hands. And bend, keep your knees bent and windshield wiper your knees from side to side. When fear and anxiety starts to come in, um, we tend to, to close down and slump the shoulders over. Um, and it almost feels like it can get a little like a little stagnant. Um, so stretches like this, let's let's actually do it one more time. Even and even if you're you're resting your forehead on the back of your hands, you're still getting the supported opening of the heart. So feel that happen. Feel the ooh, actually. You're either going to come to another um, bow pose or a uh, crocodile. <laughs> I love this. This is from Paula. So you dip your legs up like a cobra's tail, your heels coming together. Extend your arms out in front of you. Let your palms connect up above your head. Uh -huh. So your arms are on the earth. 
and then your forehead comes down. So this is either a crocodile or if you want another round boat or bow. Breathe in. Breathe out. And release, release. Ah. You can pillow over your forehead with your hands. Oh yeah, Neil, that looks nice. Neil was just in his crocodile and he bent his elbows and let his hands come to the base of his neck. And let your feet come back to the earth if your feet were lifted. Hands come back underneath the shoulders or actually even a little bit further back. Child's pose. <laughs> One more child's pose here. And all that's left. <laughs> oh, my sister's FaceTiming me. I can't answer. Yeah, all right, I will. All that's left is Shavasana. Laura, I only have a moment. We're filming a video and we're about to go into Shavasana, but I wanted to answer because FaceTime lets the music, <laughs> it makes the music stop. So just say hi. Okay, hi. <laughs> okay, we'll call you back. I love you. Okay, time for Shavasana. <laughs> okay. FaceTime is the only way that you can get through the do not disturb. Mm -hmm. Okay. Time for Shavasana. This is real world stuff here, you guys. <laughs> okay. So go ahead and make your way onto your back. Find your knees to your chest when you get there. Make little circles. Mm. Option for any other twist or stretch your body might be craving actually let's oh goodness let's just do a little little gentle twist let your arms come out like a T your knees fall out to the side Inhale, knees come back to center. Exhale, let them fall out to the other side. Just a really simple, simple unwinding twist. Breathe in. Come back to center, maybe hug your knees in for one more little squeeze. Make your way into your Shavasana. So traditionally, legs extend out in front of you. you see Neil's got his, his knees, his uh, knees bent and his feet tucked underneath. Uh, you could also have the soles of your feet be to the earth and your knees point up towards the sky. Sometimes that feels better for the lower back. Whatever your shavasana, whatever that means to you, make your way there. When you feel like you've landed in your final resting posture, mark it with an audible exhale. allowing for the surrender this idea that we need to have things under control it's um, the idea of control is all an illusion anyway In any control over your breath, let that go. This 
supported by your practice, supported by the earth, supported by the rising of the sun, setting of the sun, the rising of the moon, setting of the moon, the rising of the sun. Beautiful reminder that there is something so much bigger going on the magic and mystery of uh, what are the words magic and mystery of the divine and all of that that we don't yet understand taking comfort the universe really does have our back the illusion of borders, the illusion of separateness. Like a drop of rain returning back to the ocean. Rivers of light flowing through your body. Deep breath in. Exhale. Fall into spaciousness. Gently move, gently wiggle your toes. Gently wiggle your fingers. We all fell asleep. You give yourself a morning stretch, reach your arms up overhead. Uh, breathe out, roll onto your side and curl up like a curl up like a little child. your time making your way up to your seat. Drop right into your meditation when you get there. Drop, drop right in. Noticing if you feel differently now in your meditation than you did beginning of practice. Just an observation. Place 
your left hand over your heart, your right hand over your left. Part of our intention when we first started, we moved into the space, into the power and grace yoga, was to not only to continue and transform ourselves as a community, continue to heal ourselves, to send that healing and that light off all around us to the city and beyond, connecting to the pulse. So here as we close practice, feel your practice in your body. Feel it sparkle, feel the electricity, feel the flow. Feel rooted, grounded, and centered. Feel spacious and light and expansive. Send that light out, that healing light out. Om Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thumbs to the heart. Namaste. So much for a shorter practice. We'll try again another it's time. It's 20 minutes or a half hour. Sure. Or like an hour to six months. Whoops. Same thing. <laughs>